The Halloween franchise will continue with two more films from David Gordon Green, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, and we already have quite a few details on the first sequel. The franchise went through a reboot with Green's Halloween in 2018, a direct sequel to John Carpenter's original film that completely ignored the sequels and reunited Jamie Lee Curtis, John Carpenter, and Nick Castle. Set 40 years after the original film, Halloween took viewers back to Haddonfield, where a post-traumatic Laurie Strode was preparing to face Michael Myers one more time as he escaped while being transferred to another facility. The film introduced Laurie's daughter, Karen, and granddaughter, Allison, who also became Michael's targets. The three women managed to escape from him, and he was seemingly killed in a fire. But Halloween's post credit surprise, in the shape of Michael's breathing, proved that he managed to survive. The sequels Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends were announced in July 2019, with both films set to start production at the same time. The cast and crew are now working on Halloween Kills, and here are all the details revealed so far. Blumhouse was nice enough to not only reveal the titles of its upcoming Halloween films, but also the release dates. So unless they come across unexpected obstacles during production and post-production, Halloween Kills were released on October 16, 2020. Prior to the official reveal, there were rumors about Blumhouse planning to release two Halloween films on the same year, on the same month with just a few days in between. Luckily, that was only a rumor, and the production team has plenty of time to work on both sequels. The Halloween Kills cast so far is like a Halloween reunion, with actors from both the original film and the reboot coming back. Jamie Lee Curtis is reprising her role as Laurie Strode, with James Jude Courtney and Nick Castle coming back to play Michael Myers. Judy Greer and Andy Matichak are also reprising their roles as Karen and Allison, respectively. Dylan Arnold, Omar Dorsey, and Jabral Natembu are coming back for Halloween Kills as well. Halloween Kills is also adding new names to play some well-known characters and bringing back some from the original film. Kyle Richards will reprise her role as Lindsay Wallace. Charles Cipher is playing Sheriff Lee Brackett once more. And Nancy Stevens will portray Nurse Marion Chambers again after doing so in the first two Halloween films. Anthony Michael Hall is joining the franchise as Tommy Doyle, along with Robert Longstreet as Lonnie Ellum, Cameron's father and the kid who bullied Tommy in 1978. The Halloween Kill story is one aspect that the production team is keeping a secret, and will most likely continue to do so until the first trailer is released. Although they could also follow the path of many other recent films and not reveal anything until the film is out. Halloween ended with the Strodes trapping Michael in the basement of Laurie's home and setting it on fire. But as previously mentioned, a final scene revealed that he somehow escaped and is very much alive. Halloween Kills might not show how he survived, but it will obviously address how it affects Laurie and now Karen and Allison as well as they already got their dose of fear from the boogeyman himself. It's going to be especially interesting to see how Tommy, Lindsay, and Lonnie come into play, as well as Sheriff Brackett, who will most definitely not be pleased with Michael's resurgence after he killed his daughter, Annie, in 1978. Halloween Kills has a lot to cover, but if Halloween was proof of something, is that the franchise is in really good hands.